So we listen for the RPMs to pick up on a beautiful night at Spoon River. Track in great shape. Green flag is out. Race number two is underway. They say it out again. Three wide over in the second quarter. Up front, it's going to be Maria Cooper. Maria Cooper by two car lengths over Holly Holland as they go into turn number three. the distance. Listen for the RPMs to pick over, pick up between turns three and four. You see the cone down there on the big tractor tire in turn number four. Here they come. Carter Sarf, Carter Sarf. Tanner Carrick slides into turn number three. He'll slide up in front of Carter Sarf and get the lead to two. Stay hammered down on the top side. Here comes Carter Circle. Kid's got a rocket ship on his hands. Give him a round of applause. The CBC Concrete 71K Tanner Carrick wins. Heat field belongs to Zach Dom.
Let's listen for the RPMs to pick over, over here in turns three and four. Green flag is out, look at his three wide. Oh, guys on the bottom. Zach Young streaks out to an early lead. We've got a freight train going around the top of Spoon River Speedway. Tucker Klausmeyer runs in the middle. Tanner Carey to the top, as is Logan Seavey. Zeb White working the bottom in front of the side PC. Here comes Jake Newman to the inside. Logan Seavey will get up to the spot. Car 71, and it's a seven car battle for the lead. Logan Sabe slipped up, cut off the fourth quarter. He's in front of Robinson now, he's chasing back. Top front is sacked down, work at the bottom, and look at Tanner Carrick. Tanner Carrick, reminiscent of Michael Pickens a few years ago. That's the way Pickens ran the top here at Spoon River, and we can have a change for the lead. Third quarter. Here comes Tanner Carrick. The long way around. The treacherous way on the switch and give the spot to Carrick. Tanner Carrick gives the spot to Tanner Carrick. Tanner Carrick is your new leader. Tanner Carrick is your new leader. Coming off the fourth quarter, Carrick just a little bit better and pulls ahead. Zach Dobbs started to make up some ground in the traffic. Looks like he may be a little better in one and two, and Carrick a little better in three and four. Adam that time had to avoid the tire on the bottom of the race track. Zach Dobbs has to avoid the inside tire play. Jake Newman is up to the third position. Jake Newman also working the bottom is up to the third position. Tom looking inside of the car. I'm going to be Dom is pulled even with Carrick. Dom is even with Carrick. Going into turn three. Three time power line champion. Makes him work off the fourth corner and give that lap to Zach Dom. Give that lap to Zach Dom. And Zach Thomas grabbed the lead. Zach Thomas grabbed the lead, but he's got lap traffic in front of him, as does Carrick on the top side. Carrick will have to deal with teammate Maria Kofer. And Zach Dom will also have to deal with his teammate Brendan Crimson. And Carrick goes to the bottom. And the yellow is going to come out. Misfortune striking Jake Newman. Green flies again at Spoon River, and we've got a car that had jumped to the top side, and it looked like it was Tucker Flossmeyer. Tucker Klausmeyer, who had gotten up to third and looked like he jumped the top side. Oh, take that back. It was Logan Seavey. Logan Seavey, those two cars painted somewhat alike, and Logan Seavey jumped the cushion in a big way. That gave up several spots. Halfway through this event, 15 laps to three. 15 laps to three here. And 
to the bottom. He'll have the lap car of Jeff Beasley right in front of him and try to get around it. Carrick slides up high. Carrick slides up the middle of the racetrack. That's going to allow Wise and Tom to close up. we got a three-car battle for the lead, and now Carrick goes back to the top. Off the bottom. Zach Tom giving the lead at the strike. Zach Tom right at the strike. Now Jeff Wise in the middle of the racetrack. Three wide down the back straightaway. Into turn number three. We've got cars running the bottom, cars running the top. And we've got a new leader down in Step Wise. A new leader that time by it was Step Wise. Step Wise is your new leader in car number 39. Laps winding down. Laps winding down here in Coast River Speedway. Zeb Wise in control, now it appears. He's got two cheap boot cars on the top coming at him in a hurry. Zach Dom has to deal with one of the handfuls on the bottom, right in underneath them. And Zach Dom gives up the second position. Tucker Klausmeyer now in the second spot. Tucker Klausmeyer now in the second position. Logan Seavey working on third is Tanner Carrick now on the bottom and it looks like Carrick. We wonder if there's a problem with the right rear on the 71K. And we got a car. We got a car over the cushion off the racetrack in turn four. A car off the racetrack in turn four. Start Tanner Carey rocket to the top side. Zeb Wise works the middle. Tucker Klausmeyer also went to the middle. He works the middle in three and four. Five laps to go. Five laps to go. In the turn number three, it's the 39 machine of Zeb Wise. Zeb Wise continuing to roll the top. Zach Tom continuing to try and make some headway on the bottom. Can the 15-year-old out of Angola, Indiana, pull off the victory here at Spoon River? Two Keith Boots cars chasing him, as is the three power I camp, Zach Tom. Two laps to go, this time by 28 books. 28 laps in the books. Twenty-eight laps. Here in the turn number three and the Coons cars are gaining on him. Here comes Klausmeyer. Tucker Klausmeyer on the move. Here comes Ryan Robinson. Or excuse me. Here comes the 71K of Tanner Carrick. Tanner Carrick on the move on the top side. Here we come to the checker. Here comes Klausmeyer. Klausmeyer on the bottom. Can he make it work? Off the fourth corner. Jeff Wise wins it. Klausmeyer is second. Tanner Carrick is third. Did you enjoy that feature? Let's hear ya. Here is your winner, Zeb Wise. Zeb 
What a run around the top you made. Yeah, I, uh, I wasn't sure how long the top was going to last there. I, it really started to fade in three and four. And uh, when I when I went and split uh, to Carrick there, I kind of found the middle in one and two and had a lot of grip coming off. So I kind of just used that to propel me into turn three. But uh, I can't take uh, Tim, my dad, and Kevin enough. They worked their butt off. And it was just those three this week. So uh, tough week on them, but uh, we got one done for them. All right, Zeb Wise, hey, talk a little bit if you can. Racetrack developed two grooves. Some guys were making the bottom work. Some guys were making the top work. When you got committed, were you committed there, or were you going to search some more for, for bite? I was just waiting for someone to kind of show their nose on the bottom before I dropped down there. Um, I got the lead running the top in three and four. I kind of didn't leave it. I felt like I uh, had a pretty good car up top, so I uh, stayed there and got it done. Let's get it. Well, buddy, second place, you went to the top. You think maybe you went to the top too late, or a few more laps you might have had him? Oh, I don't know. It's hard to say uh, with a few more laps. But, uh, you know, Zeb did a really good job, and he found the top down there early enough. And uh, that was a really fun race. You know, we, everyone got to look around a little bit. It would have been fun if it was like a 50-lapper. Uh, it was just a good time. It was a good race, and uh, it was a good crowd out here tonight. And you know, we had a good car. I felt like we could really go anywhere if, if the track were to change. Uh, I think the top would have been good on either end, but it's a good point night, and uh, everything's rolling in the trailer, so it's a good night. Good point night for you. The championship becomes more clear to you now, a second-place finish. You distance yourself further from your challenger. It's definitely made me uh, not really calm down a little bit, but uh, try and be smarter. Um, you know, a lot of the guys on this team, Jay and, Jay and all those guys, they have experience winning championships, so they can teach you a lot. And, um, just being smooth, make sure to finish all the races is, is what counts. Thank you, Tucker. Thank you. Tucker finishes second. All right, third place, Tanner Carrick. You started around the top, then Zach passed you on the bottom. You changed your line. Talk about that a little bit, if you would. Yeah, I mean, when you lead that many laps, you're kind of just a sitting duck out front. Uh, I seen him on the bottom. I didn't have to go to the bottom on the restart or go back up to the top, so I just went to the bottom, got a couple laps, led a couple more laps on the bottom, then... I went back up to the top and drove off the track and fell to fifth or fourth and then drove back up to third. But other than that, I felt pretty good. Just a sitting duck out in the lead, I guess. When you change your line, like, or when you're running in front like that, it's very hard to change your line at that point, isn't it, to try and find something else? And you don't know really what's going on behind you. Uh, yeah, basically, um, you got to drive the bottom a lot different than the top. The top, you're basically on the gas all the way around. The bottom, you got to lift a little sooner to hit the line. But other than that, that's how it is. <laughs> A good third place finish for Tanner Carrick here tonight.